Police in South Jersey are searching for the thieves behind a rash of mail thefts before they strike again. This is the 10 o'clock news. I'm Don Timoney. And I'm Chris O'Connell. Police say at least 30 people have had their mail stolen and now they're out more than $160,000. And Jenny, you spoke with a victim who had all their wedding invitations stolen. I did, Chris, as if wedding planning isn't already stressful enough, and now this. And she is just one of dozens of victims. Police are waiting for more people to come forward. And I won't be using that Dropbox anymore. <laughs> Christine Gunner of Marlton, New Jersey, just learning that thieves seen here in these surveillance photos released by police have been stealing mail from this USPS Dropbox in Marlton since June. Investigators say the criminals have netted more than $160,000 from at least 30 victims by fraudulently cashing checks found inside parcels of mail. Uh, it's shocking. You know, we don't have a lot of crime in Marlton, so it's really shocking to hear that that is going on here. I'm still just annoyed. I'm incredulous. Kate Roberts says she's one of the victims. They didn't steal checks from her. Instead, she says they stole all of her wedding invitations, costing her hundreds of dollars and a major headache. We had to buy everything new. We had to pay for express shipping to get the inv invites mailed again. <clears throat> that was a mess. <laughs> Evesham Township Police Chief Walt Miller says they are hopeful they're getting closer to making arrests. On Wednesday, while officers were conducting surveillance at the Main Street Post Office, they witnessed the suspects actively stealing mail from the rear drop box. Officers attempted to approach the thieves, but they took off in a Lincoln SUV at a high rate of speed. Police did not chase after them for safety reasons. The next day, Chief Miller says the suspect's vehicle was recovered in Philly. We did recover evidence from the vehicle that's going to be critical. Police believe the thieves have a key to the drop box. This week, the lock was changed. Now, investigators are asking for your help identifying these suspects. Chief Miller says they've used at least two other cars to carry out the heist, possibly a Toyota Camry and a Lexus ES300. Um, somebody's going to know who these vehicles belong to. And police say it's unclear how the thieves got access to the Dropbox key in the first place, whether it was stolen, whether it was given to them. That's all part of the investigation. Police are also asking anyone who may have used this mailbox on August 23rd between the hours of 5 and 10 p.m. to reach out to them, and they will include you in their investigation. Back to you. Okay. Thanks, Jenny.